Hello, I'm Greg Jamian, and welcome to Home Health Care Corner. As more people receive their medical services and care at home, there are many questions that pop up that sometimes require quick answers. I have put together a series of short segments with healthcare professionals that will help explain how things work along with answers to common questions found in home-based care. I hope you find the following information helpful. Hi, my name is Janet. I'm a registered nurse for Ameristaff Nursing Services and I'm with Erin today and we're going to talk about how to make the most out of your doctor's appointments. Hi Erin. Hi. Hi, I know it's, you know sometimes I get a lot of questions from people about uh, it's very stressful when they go to the doctor's office and how they could better utilize that time. Um, a lot of times the, they feel like the doctor is running in and out of the room. They get to see the nurse or the nurse, um, nurse's aide or medical assistants coming in to take their vitals. And it's very um, choppy and they don't feel like they really get their, their um, questions answered. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about that. Okay. So do you have any recommendations on things you can do prior to your appointment? Definitely. Before you go to any appointment, you should write down a list of your questions because when you get into that appointment, the doctor's time is very limited. He's usually in the room five or ten minutes, so you want to have specific things that you want to address along with what he wants to uh, accomplish in the visit. So any symptoms that you're having, you should write down that. Uh, you should also bring a list of all your medications. Okay including um, vitamins and supplements you might be on mm -hmm. because that'll give him an idea. Sometimes um, medications that he would prescribe might interact even with like herbal things or vitamins. A lot of times people leave that off the list mm -hmm. of their medications. So if you can come with some questions, that helps. Um, and also the list of your medications. Another um, good thing is to have a family friend or somebody to come to the appointment with you. Right, to have a second set of ears and to ask questions that they may not have as well. And especially if you're getting a diagnosis or something that maybe uh, you haven't had any information about. Maybe you're newly diagnosed with diabetes or mm -hmm. congestive heart failure or cancer mm -hmm. tests are coming back. It's very overwhelming. Right. You're and what in. you might hear is different than I, you know, each of us might get bits and pieces of them. Right. Another suggestion would be to bring a notebook with you to those appointments mm -hmm. if a family friend or uh, your relative can't come with you. Mm -hmm. So you can take notes during during the appointment so you kind of know what's going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know that's going to seem weird that you're writing those notes down but at a doctor's office but he should understand or she should understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, another thing is understand when you're at the doctor's appointments they're going to maybe prescribe tests for you to have, blood tests that you're going to mm -hmm. take, make sure you get all those um, slips of paper yeah. together. So it's a good thing to have a folder mm -hmm. with all your medical equipment or papers in that one folder. Right, so, so you're you, not misplacing anything, you're dropping anything. Yeah, right. That's a good idea. And understand why they're doing the tests. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people don't ask, why are you sending me for an ultrasound? Or why are you sending me for a CAT scan? Or what kind of blood work is that? So if you can really understand why he's doing those tests, mm -hmm. and you know, that's your privilege and your right to ask these questions. Just don't think because the doctor prescribed it that you don't have a say in it. Right, right. So. And is there anything to do after the visit? After the visit is make sure you make those appointments for any tests that mm -hmm. he might want you to follow up tests, but also keep a log or a journal or notebook right next to your chair at home or in that medical file that mm -hmm. you have. Because if you start having symptoms or say he's asking you to monitor your blood pressure mm -hmm. or blood sugar, you can write it down right next to you, keep that notebook there. Mm -hmm. So he, you can bring that notebook in the future mm -hmm. and he can review 
um, it gives him more specific information mm -hmm. instead of being just general, I'm not feeling good, I'm tired all the time. Right. So if he has specific things to go off of, then it gives him a better chance to be able to treat you and treat you properly, mm -hmm. take, send you for the right tests. So. Okay. If you have any further questions, you can contact us at Ameristaff 248-288-2270 or you can always call your physician and ask him if there's anything further he would like you to do. Have a good day.